In the previous video, I taught you how to register and use Alipay. Today, I'll show you how to register and use WeChat. If we were to rank their difficulty levels, Alipay would be level 1, while WeChat would be level 10. I've seen many tutorials on YouTube, but many people still get stuck because WeChat often requires you to find someone who has been using WeChat for a long time to assist you with scanning a verification code. However, those tutorials don't offer a solution to your problem. I have an exclusive method that will make this process much easier for you. Although WeChat is relatively more complicated than Alipay, don't worry, I will guide you through every step hand in hand so you can follow along and try it yourself. Once you have WeChat, you'll be able to truly immerse yourself in Chinese culture and social life. That's when Chinese people will consider you a true foreign pro. Many foreigners say that WeChat registration is too difficult. Why is WeChat so unfriendly to foreigners? There are a lot of restrictions during the registration process. First, it's not that easy for Chinese people either, as WeChat needs to guard against domestic spam and fraud. Additionally, there are many overseas fraud groups that bulk register WeChat accounts to scam Chinese people. Because of this, WeChat has raised the overall registration and usage thresholds. The good news, however, is that this also means there's very little marketing and fraud information on WeChat. Let's get started with the tutorial. First, you need to download WeChat. For Android users, you can find it on the Google Play Store or your local App Store. For iPhone users, simply download it from the Apple App Store. Once downloaded, don't rush into the registration process just yet. There are a few things you need to prepare first. You'll need a physical SIM card, preferably one that matches your IP location. For example, if you're in the US, it's best to use a US phone number and bank card for registration. Avoid using virtual numbers like Google Voice. Additionally, prepare your Visa or MasterCard. Virtual cards are not recommended. With these two things ready, you'll be set to complete the registration process. Now open the WeChat app and click the Sign Up button in the lower right corner. Set up your profile by uploading a photo and entering your nickname. You don't need to use your real name. A username or screen name will suffice. Next, enter your phone number and create a login password. Once everything is filled in, you'll need to check the box to agree to WeChat's terms of service, then click Accept and Continue. After that, you'll also need to agree to WeChat's privacy policy. If you don't agree, you won't be able to proceed with the registration. Once you've agreed to the policies, you'll enter the identity verification stage. This is where 90% of people get stuck. Click to start the verification process. First, you'll need to complete a graphic verification task by selecting the correct pattern. After successfully completing the graphic verification, you'll have two options. One, bank card verification. Two, friend assistance verification, which requires a friend in China to assist you. Choose one of these verification methods to proceed. After completing either one, you'll receive an SMS code to finalize your registration. Bank card verification is generally the easier option, so choose it if available. However, there's a small chance this verification might fail. If that happens, you'll need to resort to friend assistance verification. Let's proceed with bank card verification. You'll see that WeChat supports six types of bank cards. Avoid using virtual bank cards, and make sure the card is under your name, as third-party cards may result in failure. Physical cards are highly recommended. Enter the card number, card holder's name, CVV, and expiration date, then click Next. If the verification is successful, all that's left is to receive a phone SMS code. Once you enter the code, your WeChat registration will be complete. Here, I don't have an overseas bank card, only a virtual one, so my verification failed. This is just a demonstration to show you how it works. Trust me, most people will successfully register using bank card verification. If you're unable to complete bank card verification, you'll need to start over, re-enter your registration details, and choose WeChat Friend Assistance Verification. For foreigners, this step can be quite challenging as it requires finding a Chinese person and explaining the situation in detail. Don't worry, I have two solutions for you. Solution 1. Paid option. You can download the Fiverr app on your phone or visit their website at fiverr.com. Search for WeChat Scan and you'll find many people offering paid services to help scan the WeChat QR code for registration. Prices typically range from $5 to $20. Choose someone affordable and they'll assist you in completing the verification process. This is a paid solution, but even as a local Chinese user, I'd have to do a favor or buy a meal for a friend who helps me with this. So, it's a straightforward solution, but it involves a fee. Solution 2. Free option. 1. You can post a request for help on Chinese social platforms like Xiaohongshu, Little Red Book, or Douyin, Chinese TikTok. 
However, this requires you to register accounts on these platforms and be able to communicate effectively, which can be time consuming. Two, alternatively, when you arrive in China, you can ask local Chinese people at the airport to assist you. It's best to approach young people as they're more likely to be tech savvy. Prepare a translation app in advance and say, I'm a foreigner trying to register WeChat and I need a friend to assist with verification. Could you help me? I'm not a scammer. Using either of these methods, you should successfully register your WeChat account. Final step. Complete KYC verification. Even after successfully registering, don't relax just yet. You still need to complete KYC, know your customer verification to fully activate your account and avoid restrictions. Without this, your account will have limited functionality and may be at risk of being suspended. In WeChat, click on Me, then Services, and go to Wallet. Within the Wallet section, click Add Bank Card to begin the identity verification process. At this stage, you'll need to upload your passport information. Once your KYC is verified, you'll have a fully functional WeChat account. Important reminders newly registered WeChat accounts are highly prone to suspension because they have low trust scores and are often flagged as spam accounts. To avoid this, do not add too many friends immediately after registration. Use your account for normal activities like browsing Chinese information or making payments with WeChat Pay. Avoid discussing political or sensitive topics as these are common triggers for account suspension. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you found my content helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.